Got all the holes done, all the dimples. Let's hope this one heat treats correctly. I don't want to have to copy all this stuff, and I can, but I, I might just be able to pull it out of the oven and do what I got to do and not keep jacking around with this stuff like I had to with the other 4130 flats. And I think it's my process. I'm going to try it just a little different this time. We'll see. Keep our fingers crossed. All right, let's see what these things turn out. Try to do this one hand here. Straighten up. There it goes. Get the camera to focus. It's coming in at right about 32. You see I've already tested it a couple of times. Alrighty, let's try the back here. Straighten up, there it goes. Alrighty. Roughly the same thing. Yep, 35. Alrighty. All right, this is the back of the receiver. You can see the little prick marks there. The back here was about 35. You can see it doesn't squish metal up. I hope you can see that. Just because the needle says one thing, that prick mark's gonna tell you something else too. If it's making a big crater and a big divot and it's puckered up all around the hole, then it's really soft. If it's been properly heat treated, it'll just leave a little divot like that. But these aren't nowhere near as hard as I was expecting them to be. You can see I tested it three times right there. It's not pushing metal up, really. So, wow. That's something. It's the first time I've ever actually tested one of these things. Hmm. Maybe they don't need to be nowhere near as hard. You can tell where they tested it at the factory. Oh, well. We'll see. Alright, I got my water, my dish soap in it, and that's a little power head in there that I use only for this. I don't know if it's absolutely necessary or not, but at least it keeps it swirling around. So that may not be necessary, but most people are using paint stirrers and drill motors and stuff to, or stirring it by hand and then dipping their stuff in. Some people do, some people don't. I figured, ah, what the heck, I got old aquarium equipment laying around, I'll use that. We're getting up to getting it up there. Once I hit 1600, I'll put the camera on the tripod and we'll dunk this bad boy and hopefully it works. Got the scale scrubbed off of it. We're gonna see what we get here.
All right, it's all sandblasted and drawn back. We've already tested it once. Let's see what we get here. Forty-two. The other one was forty, or forty and a half. Come out. There it goes. There's a little prick mark. It's not pushing any metal up or anything. Well, you can't see it now. So, if at least little holes like that, you're good. It shouldn't be leaving a, a crater or where you can notice it pushing the metal out.